are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk. Good morning, people. Good morning. It's a Friday. Yeah, it's a weekend and um, so much to savor. By the way, let me just start first by saying congratulations to the Super Falconets uh, for their win over their French counterparts last night by one goal to nil. I'm sure we'll talk about the game in detail. For those of you who didn't catch up on the game, it was live on Super Sports Channel 205. I'm doing Femi's job. 205 at, um, was it 10.55 last night? Yes. And we're playing South Korea on Sunday at 10.55 as well. So watch out for that. Channel 205. Uh, South Korea lead the log. Uh, Kurt said they win. 2-0 win. Um, so the Super Falconets will have to, you know, get the job done come this weekend, Sunday, to be precise. My name is Charles Anazodo. I've got in company uh, Shagun Agbede. Shagun, good morning. How are you? Yeah, good morning, Charles. How are you doing? Um, good morning, Femi. You know, it's nice to see you doing what the listeners want, you know. Give it out the, you know, give it out that information that Femi refused to, in a very arrogant manner, refused to give out yesterday. Claim is not his job. And congratulations, Super Falconets. I, I, to be honest, I didn't expect the win. I thought um, it was a difficult um, task. I didn't see the game, to be honest. Saw the highlights and um, France. how France didn't get on the score sheet in that game. I'll never know. But hey, goal seemed games, uh, fortune favours, the brave and all that and all that. And uh, we kept a clean sheet, which is very important in football. And we got the win. So we um, can do the job against South Korea on, on uh Sunday, yep, mm. we'll find ourselves in the next round. That's QD. All right, um, Femi Faro is also in the building as well. Femi, good morning. Great to be here. Good morning. Today's Friday, so I'm just excited. Oh we're just going to chill today. Yeah, you know, we're just going to chill and have yeah. fun. Yeah. Let me ask a very pertinent question. Yeah, um, you have a wife. Yeah, I'm sure you all can relate because you're all married here. Yeah, so. Abby. At one time, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. I'm carefully listening. I'm carefully listening. At one time, I don't know. Okay, so so you're you're married and your wife um, has an illness, yeah, and um, she's said to be on borrowed time. She's said to be on borrowed time. You know what? How, how do you react? How do you react? Um, do you take care of her or do you decide to live your life, find somebody else, you know? What do I, don't, you do? I don't understand the question. Of course. I don't you, understand the question. No, no, the answer is very simple. You dump her and go and marry somebody else. No? I don't understand the question. Of course you take care of her. What, what, what? I really don't understand I, I mean, question. It's, it's, I don't understand. I, is it a trick question or exactly. something? It's not a trick question because what I'm asking now is uh, a true life situation. Yeah. You know, um, somebody who I know, you know, his his wife is... is terminally ill. More or less, you know, living on borrowed time, like I said. Yeah. You know, and right now all he's done is he's got somebody else, he's got a girlfriend. Already. Already. You know, okay. um, uh, that ain't right. I know. More or less ignores her. No, that ain't right. That's no, no. that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. That's um, at least at least how do because I? Because he's still very young. They're both very. They're, they're she's not forty yet. I mean, oh, and he's in terrible. his very early forties. That's terrible. That's terrible. You know, there's the saying of do all to all. That's what you want to be done. Exactly. To. If the tables were turned, would, would they would you like you the expect? same thing? What do you expect? You yeah. expect her to not see so to the. Question: Do you guys know exactly what is going on inside? Exactly what is going on inside between the two of them? Yeah, well, well, I, I know, I, I do. Uh, and no matter what is, is going no on, on both sides, you know from both sides. Yeah, from both sides. She's whatever it is, Ill. whatever is the prime prima facie, whatever it is, whatever it is, mm. uh, you know, you know. Yeah, but even if you caught her in bed with another man, well, and she's terminally ill. He has to keep people. That's his first. If she's seven and she wouldn't be in bed with somebody else, would she? No, I mean, be, of course, before. Before now. Before. And then the relationship would have scattered before now. No, so, some people decide to stay in the same house despite the rubbish going on. Some people decide to keep up. True that. True yes. that. Despite the whatever. So, but the question is is he taking care of, despite having another girlfriend or what? Is he in any way taking care of a terminally person? My belief would be basic stuff, you know. 
this person we're so, talking about is not bedridden. You can be terminally ill and still be active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so is he doing his little part in taking care of her? It depends on what you mean by little part. No matter how little. Is He's he paying house rents. Way? He's buying food in the house. You know. So, that's why I keep saying, I'm saying again, you don't know the exact details of what is going on. It gets side. as a any which way. Yeah. You know, yeah. so sometimes um, some things we see on the face, um, on the surface are not the same thing as what you've got. And the match was this morning, by the way. The Falconet game. It wasn't this morning. It started at 10 minutes to 11. It was this morning. Because it just ended like um, the game ended at half past three. You know, it was stopped for about 30 20 minutes. minutes. 30 minutes. Only 20. Uh, but because of rain. Might, because I saw it live. Yeah, so what was I watching? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know for you. What was I watching? I maybe you didn't check the time properly. No, no, but I did. I set my alarm for the game. Sure. Sure, it was for the game. You set your alarm. Y- yes. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 sure. yeah, Are you ready? Sure. Are you ready to get your body's I don't sleep good tomorrow. Oh, well, okay. Because um, I, know, I know it took the officials about uh, how many minutes to check the pitch, you know, and all of that. They went in, waited for another 12 minutes before the game now officially started again. And somebody sent me a message talking about AFCON, you know, um, all of this clamor to 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 host AFCON, be it in January or in the month of June. And it was citing examples of Costa Rica is not a developed country. It's not. It's not. So they can also have their problems as well. I'm not saying it's perfect, but we can actually get technology that prevents rain from stopping football. People it's think, very, very possible. The kind of rain in Africa, the technology cannot and then, you know, when they talk about this rain, they think it's it's a it's it's a monsoon or something, uh, something like that. But it can be torrential. Come on, but it's not that bad. So the rain, rain. But the rain um, this morning in that game was, was torrential. Yeah, it was as invisibility was super poor. But you know what? Immediately it subsided. They found a way to get the water out of the pitch. And that was why the delay, the delay was a lot. You saw them moving. There was this thing they were moving across. The just making sure that everywhere that um, had patches of water, they were able to move them out. And the officials came and tested, and the pitch was good. I keep saying, technology with technology, we can host any competition at any time of the season. Well, I guess it's possible at any time of the season. So all these talk about oh, the rain in Africa is different. It's, it's, After all, they play football in the snow in a, abroad, and they found and the they, way around. They the cleared snow. the pitch. They found the way the around snow. the snow. Even these days, they clear the pit before the game and there's some sort of heating system. And the, the snow, you see snow around the pitch, but it doesn't stay permanently on the on the, on the the pitch itself. I don't know, it seems people that stay on this side of so they all just face one direction. It's, it's not about facing one direction, it's about common sense. These things, technology... The, the, common sense. The, mm. Yeah. Mm. And now only, now only get time, Abi. Mm. It's it's knowing that technology. But if it's common now, that means say calf don't get common sense. They, 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 apparently they don't. Out. Apparently they don't. What what is calf invested? And it's not calf. It's the different countries, the different FAs. Because calf is not going to come and build. So nobody has been able to come together and get this wondrous idea, the, this wonderful technological solution. Because they want to chop can, money. Because they want to chop money. Want to chop money. Everything about chopping money. Nobody wants to really develop at all. Our leaders here are not doing the basic things they should do. What we think about is let's just build the stadium. No, I, I think it's easy to sit here and pontificate about playing football in the rainy season, but practically the, the practical resolution of that matter it may not be as easy as we're putting out here. I'm just putting no that out there. No one's saying it's going to be easy, uh-huh. but the thing is, you've got to put in the work. Simple. And you've got to put in the funds. Simple. And Simple. Then. As long as technology is still advancing, any situation can be taken care of. Any situation. Mm. The heat in the heat in Qatar. There's already a solution to it. There's a solution for the heat. So, even if they're going to play the World Cup in June, July in Qatar, anytime, anytime their the their year. idea of of stemming the heat in Qatar was to build air conditioned stadiums. So why did they do that? Why didn't they come? Why didn't they because all the participating teams were still worried it about. FIFA, sorry, it was FIFA and UEFA that insisted on this move, not Qatar. Qatar was ready to host at any time in the year. They were going to follow the normal FIFA calendar. But FIFA and UEFA, UEFA um, specifically were, were the ones making so much noise about the weather, the weather with the weather, the players and whatever. But Qatar was ready to host the matches. The matches would be played and 
the weather won't be a problem for them. Uh, as I said. And what they were going to do in June, they are still doing it now. They are building air-conditioned stadiums everywhere. Even well, some stadiums have bedrooms. You can watch, you know, that one I'm on Isha, but some stadiums, you can live in the stadium. You can live in the stadium. That makes sense. Though. Ah, man. Okay, well, that level of do, man, that makes perfect sense. Cost. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Imagine waking up and watching the game live from your bedroom. I mean, what, what can on be the, better? On the, on, the, on the veranda. What, I mean, what, can, just, be, <laughs> just, uh, what can be better? Especially you are, you when you have, you com- have food, food. Especially food when you have company. But, 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 yeah. but, the, but, the, uh, but, I mean, how do you watch a football game by yourself uh, with that kind of luxury? You, ha- you have company, to be with. Company, companies won't just be women. Because uh, I don't know what you're doing. I didn't say I don't know why you're doing. I didn't say a word. I don't know why you were doing your face. What kind? Oh, I'm doing my best. I did not say a word. Are we recording? Thank God. I did not say a word. Company can be men and boys decide to go and to go to Qatar. You know, decide to pay for. You know, and some of the some of the accommodation is not just for two people. Well, I did not say a word. That's all. I don't know why your mind is always I did not say what. I did not say. I cannot be accused of what I didn't say. Uh, anyway, it's good. But this Friday, oh boy, anyway, be, so we'll it'd be it nice easy. to be in Qatar. Oh boy. Ah, it'd be nice to be. Ah, Super Eagles. And, ah, guy. Um, guy. You can't ah. I was on the winning. I would have, I would have done. Qatar yeah. would have been hat trick. Brazil, you Russia. Can't still be in Qatar. Qatar. Yeah. You don't have to wait for this. It don't be like yeah, it's no, not the but you same. know when you're not, when you're at a World Cup and when, your national yes. team is playing. And now that you know, there's playing. a different it's vibe. It's not the same. It's a different vibe. It's not the same. When ah. you wear your jersey or your green and white, and every everywhere you go, man. Watch, just watch the games very well. You will see green and white in the stands. Hey, good day, good day. But it's not the same. Some Nigerian Super well, Eagles. We know we're gonna wear a brand new jersey for the FIFA World Cup. We'll already, 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 uh, already we'll, created yeah, by. We'll, we'll ah, help them wear it. And so oh. we'd have dropped this. Um, and of course, now this wasn't gonna be at the World Cup. Oh, of course wow. not. We wow. will help them wear it. Don't worry, you will see it just in wow. the stands. Wow. Oh well, it, it still pains, but see ha- what happens. Happens. Ah. Three months to go. Mm. Almost there. Okay, people. Um, we're taking it nice and easy today. Uh, number to call to send your WhatsApp messages and your voice voice notes. 0809-234-5913. Uh, we also have other lines. 0809-222-0913. 0-1-5-1-5-0-9-1-3, 0-1-5-1-5-1-9-1-3. And our women only line 809 0809- one nine one three nine one three. You know, reading out these lines every day can be tiresome. You know, just save the numbers in your phone. Mm-hmm. Be- I don't know. Some people, some some people might be listening to us for the first time. So it's for them because we get we have a, an ever growing audience. You know, so. and if you're able to read it by heart, it's not tiring. Exactly. Okay, who here knows his numbers by heart? Okay, hundred K. Who? <laughs> who knows his number by heart? Hundred K or five numbers? Give me the landline by heart. Hundred K. Hundred K. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. five. All five numbers. I just told you all five numbers. Oh, yeah. Hundred K. Oh yeah, no. I will not give it. I will not give it. I will not give it. I won't waste. I won't waste my recitation for nothing. <laughs> A few recitation though. No. Yeah, it's recite. The landline zero one five one five zero nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three. Show off. Yeah, be sure. off. Hundred uh, K. Uh, that's what they would do you for now. <laughs> 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 oh man, all right, let's have a show us your school start funny, results. Funny enough, they are the only numbers I know in my head. I'll be the I don't numbers. numbers. They are the only numbers I know by heart. Mm. It's all good. So? And my, and my mom's number. Hey. Funny enough, I don't know my mom's number by heart. I mean, she's listening, oh. <laughs> That's so but you know, my mom knows all of our numbers by, by, by heart. heart. That's her base. All of her kids' I numbers by heart. I cannot. I don't know any. The I only cannot. the only number I know by heart is my wife's phone number. That's good. At least you know one. Mm, you know one. The only number I knew by heart, my friend, he's passed away now. That's because he was the first person to get a cell phone among all of us. So his number just stuck yeah. when when DSL first came out then MTN. Funny enough, my kids know my wife's number by heart. They don't know my own. No, oh, yeah, you're not a potter. You, you? <laughs> <laughs> you always drop on it. Now. Who are you? They don't know my own. Cook, they provide, you know, when I realized, you paid me go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Guy, yeah, just you're yeah, just a provider. That's it. That's all. BP. That's did, all. Did you, did you did you notice the pictures you took on vacation? Did you notice they were happier than you? 
that you did pay. You are just some of those pictures. I was good because I said when you get back, I will show you. Oh, your face in all of those pictures. Because <laughs> uh, you have to recoup, uh, guy. That's your, you have to know your position in the family. You are the provider. That's it. So do your job. Uh, well, like they go know your number if you are not paying. Ah, uh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they oh, never found that count. Femi, I hope you're taking notes. Me, I'm not even listening. Because uh, right. I know my parents' number in my head. I also have one other number that I've been trying to forget. It doesn't doesn't seem to slip. How out. about your wife's number? I know it. His Why did you number? pause? Number Which number because? are you trying to forget? His ex-girlfriend. No, it was the number I remembered in school. I had the number saved in my head in school. I was last Whose number now? I, I a friend of mine. A woman or a man? Mention I'll mention her name. name. Mention the best man, 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 man or woman. I would mention man or woman. A woman. So how can you? Why do you? Can you remember a woman's number? I don't know how my brain has just kept it in there. I try to remove you it. Asking but... <laughs> Someone asked me the number. I think it was two weeks ago. Number that used to. A call. number just came out straight from my head. Number that used to carry. Just to like that. Just call. like that. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I was no my it's no okay, my time is not that old. Okay. We had mobile phones in my time. You still used to go to business center. To do what? Remember that number. Please, madam, let me call this no, number. In case, in case. <laughs> I had the number in case I was stuck. <laughs> we are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk.